I don't know about you, but I used to binge eat a lot. I was the type of guy who literally was like, if there's food in the cupboard, I'm going to eat it. And you know, I didn't do it like a normal person where I would just take a bite or something like that. No, if there was an entire bag of chips, I would eat it. Now that I think about my binge eating behavior, it's like so sad to think that I used to binge eat all this fucking shit. Bro, if I was bored, I would just take refined sugar and put it in my mouth. I won't lie to you. I think one of the big contributors that helped me personally to stop binge eating forever is mindfulness. Now let's see why binge eating occurs in the first place. It's not because you're hungry, it's really because you feel bad about something, right? You're anxious about this test, you just broke up with a girl. The first thing your brain will tell you to do is to binge eat every single thing you have in your entire house. Afterwards, when you do eat that junk food, you feel even more bad because you ate this junk food and you're literally making your body worse. No, mindfulness. What is mindfulness? There's many confusing definitions online and honestly I couldn't find the best one. Being fully absorbed in the now. Being in a flow state currently. That's what I mean. You may say, wait, mindfulness isn't like that meditation. I wouldn't say that because mindfulness is really a skill that you can level up. But meditation is like a workout for your mind. If you watch my videos, you probably go to the gym, right? Well, in the gym, your goal is to build the perfect physique, right? But when you meditate, your goal is to be fully absorbed in the moment and to upgrade your mindfulness skill. The thing with meditation and mindfulness is mindfulness is free. Meditation is free. You can download any single app out there and try to meditate today. Yes, with working out, you have to actually get up, pack your gym bag, get a gym membership. You have to do a lot of things before you actually work out. But with meditation, you can basically train your mind for free right now. And also mindfulness is like a meta skill that improves every single thing in your life. It literally improves your gym PRs. It makes you better in anything you do, hell, even studying for school. But how is binge eating connected to mindfulness? Well, when you binge eat, you're basically focused on what's happened in the past and you want that junk food because you're so focused on what happened in the past, anxiety. But when you're mindful, you actually listen to your body. You actually know if your body wants to eat. When you start eating junk food and you're mindful, you're like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm wasting my time and I'm ruining my body. I should not do this. I'll give you another example. You have breakfast, right? In the first example, you're not mindful. You're watching fucking YouTube videos while you eat breakfast. Every single person I know does this. I don't do it and I'm much more happier than the average person. So, But the second example is what I do. When you eat breakfast, you eat breakfast. You're truly and utterly focused on what's in front of you. You're focused on the plate, you're focused on what you're currently eating. Point is, mindfulness and meditation is free, it will make your life better. Time's gonna pass anyway and you may as well use it. Mwah.